Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss logical operators in Java. Before starts today's session, let us try to recall what have we discussed in our last video. What is the use of assignment operator? Can we write constant at left hand side of the assignment operator? Can we assign multiple values using single statement in Java? When do we use compound assignment operators? What is the difference between is equal to operator and assignment operator? We covered all these in the lecture 20 in detail. The link is given in the description box. If you haven't watched that, please watch that. After watching this video, you will know what is compound relational condition. What is the written type of logical operators, types of logical operators, and principles of the logical operators? So, we started the concept of operators. We covered arithmetic operators, relational operators, and assignment operators. So, in this lecture, we are going to discuss logical operators. Already we covered relational operators. Relational operators are used to frame the condition. Suppose if you want to combine multiple relational conditions or multiple relational expressions, we can combine that with help of the logical operators. Or simply you can say that logical operators are used to combine multiple conditions. The expression of this kind is called logical expression, nothing but combining multiple relational expression is called logical expression or it is also called compound relational expression. We know that already the written type of the relational expression is Boolean type. So, here we are combining relational expressions. So, the return type of the logical expression is also Boolean data type. We have three types of the logical operators. First one logical and second one is logical R and third one is logical NOT. So, let us discuss these three one by one. Coming to the logical AND, it returns true if both the operands or both the expressions are true. To implement this logical AND operator, we use double AND symbol. This is called logical AND operator in Java. For the better understanding, see this example. Suppose we have one condition 2 less than 5. This is one condition. So, it returns true. We have one more condition that is condition 2. 20 greater than 10. This is also true. So, when you have this type of the situation, when those two given conditions are true, if you combine these conditions with logical AND, it returns true because the nature of the logical AND is it returns true if both conditions are true. Let us see one example for the better understanding. See now, this is the logical AND operator example. We declared three variables A, B, C and we assign the values 10, 20, 30 respectively. See the seventh statement. Here we are implementing logical AND operator. So, here A less than B is true because A is 10, B is 20. A less than B is and second condition is B less than C. This is also true because B is 20, C is 30. So, if you combine these two conditions with logical AND, so already we covered logical AND returns true if both conditions are true. Here these two are true. So, that is why the seventh statement returns true. See the output logical AND true. In all the remaining cases, logical AND returns false. See now, A greater than B logical AND B less than C. Here A greater than B is false because A is 10, B is 20. 
So, in this case it should be written false. Let us try to execute this before that try to make seventh statement as a comment line and execute it. Now, see logical and false. Like this you can check all the remaining cases also. Logical or logical or returns true if either of the operands or expressions is true. Simply we can say that if at least one operand is true, logical R returns true. We use pipe symbol as a logical R operator. See this example again, we have two conditions, condition 1 is true that is 2 less than 5 and the second expression or condition is 20 is equal to 10, this is false, okay, condition 2 is false. If we use logical R for these two conditions to combine these two expressions, it returns true because here condition 1 is true. The rule is at least one condition is true, it returns true. See this example program for the logical R, same values, but here I am taking A less than B and second one is B greater than C, where B is 20, C is 30. So, it is false but a less than b is true, execute it, now see logical are true. Third one is logical not, it returns true if operand is false and vice versa, it returns false if the operand is true. Simply we can say that logical not complements the truth value of an operand. If we apply logical not, true becomes false, false becomes true. The operator we use to implement a logical not is exclamatory symbol. This is called logical not operator. See, suppose we have one condition 96 less than or equals to 80. So, actually the truth value of this condition is false. If we apply logical not before this condition, now it returns true because we are applying logical not. So, false becomes true. See this example logical not. So, here we have a, b, a less than b. This is true actually because a value is 10, b value is 20. But if we apply logical not before this condition, true becomes false. See the output logical not false. I think it is clear. Check your knowledge what you learnt from this lecture. What is compound relational condition? What is the written type of logical operators? Types of the logical operators? What are the principles of three logical operators? If this video is useful to you, please subscribe the channel, like and share the videos. Thank you.